Oh, hi. So today is the day, the last day of 2020. Yay. So happy new year to everyone. Um, I really hope that it is actually going to be a happy new year. We say that all the time, you know, every year, happy new year. You know, we make new year's resolutions and all this stuff. I think this year probably has a little more weight to it. You know, I think collectively we all do want a happier year, a better year. And I think that if we continue to try to see the positive in things, you know, like I'm seeing a lot of people doing these days, honestly. Um, I've had to change my uh, way of thinking, you know, and this year and it's been it's been awesome. It's been really, really great to uh, to experience a growth within myself that I didn't think I would ever be able to find again, you know, or have the opportunity to enjoy, you know, coming here to be a wind turbine technician and going to school, you know, I came, uh, across the nation, you know, to a place I've, you know, never really, you know, experienced any, anything like before. Um, it's been really cool, you know, uh, and I've seen a lot of other people, you know, kind of take advantage of this horrible situation we were all put in, you know? Um, I think if anything, we're all better prepared to deal with whatever comes our way. And that is what the big lesson of 2020 is, is, you know, to be prepared, you know, to make preparations, to uh, understand your place in the world, understand how fragile things can be, you know, and maybe not put so much stock in, I don't know, the ideals of others, you know, because it doesn't seem to get us anywhere good. You know, violence should never be a thing. I hope that 2020 violence just goes out the window as far as people trying to make a statement or something. It's, it's, it's been hard to watch for everybody, you know. Um, I said it before and I'll say it again. I think everybody kind of lost their marbles this year, you know, <laughs> myself included. Um, I've had to learn how to be a person again, just like with everybody, you know. I mean, we... You know, uh, we were taking a few things for granted, I think. Um, you know, I mean, like being able to go see a movie on the weekends. Uh, <laughs> who, who would have thought that we would ever see movie theaters collapse, you know, like this. Um, but, I mean, at the same time, though, you know, watching a new movie uh, at, at home in your underwear is pretty nice. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, I mean, you know, I think that we're all kind of learning how to deal with this new way of life. Um, and that's the preparation that, that I think is going to help us all succeed a little more this year. Even if this thing continues to be as bad as it, as it has been, you know, um, depending on who you talk to or what source you listen to or whatever, you know, um, we're, we're, we're all still in this, you know, and we need to, we need to, be, you know, be better at uniting, I think, and, and uh, learn how to live again and enjoy life and not poke fun or, or uh, maybe not fun, but uh, po point fingers at other people and about their differences. I mean, what happened to, I don't know, everybody just kind of enjoying differences, you know, and, and uh, that used to be like the spice of life, right? Running into people that had different ideals than you and having a good, healthy conversation. I miss that. You know, um, that's for sure. <laughs> so maybe in 2021, conversation will live again. I don't know. Hopefully, you know. Um, you know, um, I'm out here. I'm out here making the best of, you know, what this year has, has done to us. The reason that I came out here, you know, which I've said before in another video, you know, why I'm, why I'm, why I chose to be a wind turbine technician, but I mean, really honestly, it's the experience of it all. You know, I wanted to change my life. I wanted to have something that was going to put me on a trajectory to be able to provide for my boys the way that I want to, in the way that I feel like they deserve, you know? And I think that this, uh, well, I know that this is going to be that, that answer that I was looking for. Um, I will not accept failure. <laughs> um, and I, I, I see brighter days ahead of us, you know, and I've seen a lot of people, a lot of people take advantage of, again, you know, the, the, everything that this year has brought us 
you know, uh, it, it smacked us in the face and made us stand up and pay attention, you know. And I've seen a lot of people benefit from, you know, opening uh, 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 their minds up to new, you know, to new possibilities and new ways of being, you know. Um, it's hard trying to learn how to, you know, be a part of all of this, you know, uh, you know, uh, without, you know, any kind of real social interactions anymore. You know, it's weird. You know, I've always kind of considered myself a social butterfly. And this year it's like, you know, you know, that's all you got. It's crazy. And, um, sometimes I may, maybe it's not so bad, you know, maybe it takes a lot of the riffraff out of life, <sighs> but it will, it will be definitely nice to uh, see faces again and maybe have conversations. So maybe 2020, 2021 will bring that. Um, again, like I said, it's all about conversations. I think that, you know, people forgot how to communicate. You know, maybe it's because of social media. I don't know. If, uh, if you know me in our real life, you have probably told you my opinions on social media. I'm, um, I'm not really active on Facebook anymore, you know. It's more just like a, uh, like a place for photos, <laughs> you know. I just don't really think that it was doing me any good. Me personally, I mean, other people really enjoy it and, you know, and will continue to and thrive and whatever, you know, but for me personally, I, I, I don't think it was doing me any good knowing everything about everyone at all times. Um, you know, I mean, uh, because I, I just, I was, I was too focused on everything, you know, and I never really slowed down and stopped to, you know, uh, to enjoy what was going on in my, in my own life, you know, and it made me really depressed sometimes. And, uh, because, you know, when I took my eyes off my phone, I, I didn't understand what I was looking at. And I think this year, well, this new year, you know, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to be more present in my own life. And I want my kids to see that, you know, my, my two beautiful boys, man, I miss them right now. <laughs> You know, uh, it's been hard for them as well. I don't think that they realize it, but it's been hard for them as well. Lots of things have changed. You know, um, they have to see the adults around them freak out and run around and try to, you know, figure everything out, you know, in a new way of being and all that stuff. And they're just like, what are we doing this for? You know, but I, uh, I want to be better for my boys and 2021 is going to be kind of a benchmark year you know for that kind of direction and um, I think it's going to be that way for a lot of people a lot of people are rebuilding a lot of people are regrouping you know and um, having to suffer all the loss that we have collectively this this past year uh, will not be forgotten and um, as bad as it is, as bad as it was, maybe as bad as it maybe still will be for some, you know, um, moving into the new year, I, I, I still think that it's an opportunity for us all to learn, you know, how to be human again, you know, communicate with each other, have these conversations, enjoy, you know, uh, when you lock eyes with someone, you know, enjoy making them laugh, you know. Man, I, 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 I've always loved making people laugh, you know? You know, whether it's because I'm actually funny or just silly or stupid, I don't know. But, uh, you know, <laughs> it's one of my favorite things. And so having those social, you know, cues and, you know, experiences, you know, is something that I definitely will miss um, or have missed. And I'm and looking forward to having it again someday, you know? Um, but, I mean, at the same time, though, I feel like I've gotten a little closer to the people that I, in my life that I love. My mom, man, she's, she's been my hero this year. I'll tell you that much. Well, she's my hero every year. <laughs> best, best person I, I, I've ever known and ever, ever will know. And anyone that's ever met my mom will say the same. You know, I was very blessed with that woman in my life. And, um, I miss her. You know, mom, if you're watching, I miss you. <laughs> uh, I miss everybody. It's been tough. You know, uh, like I said, uh, 
it's hard being away from my boys. You know, uh, Draven, if you're watching this, I love you. The world is a little confusing right now. And I hate that you have to deal with it without me. But uh, someday that will change. And Rigby, you goofy little dude. Man, I love that we have at least been able to video chat and play play Xbox together. That's one of my favorite things. So, you know, uh, thanks to his mom for allowing that to happen. <laughs> if you're watching this, thank you. But um, anyway, I think I've taken up enough of your, enough of your time. You know, uh, it's been a little bit since I posted some videos. I uh, was kind of in my own head these past few weeks, you know, just kind of dealing with the new environment. And, you know, uh, my roommates are awesome. I've got two two guys I live with, you know, uh, Pedro and, and Thomas. But, uh, you know, we, we've kind of had to learn to live with each other and uh, also give each other space. Uh, it's, it's been fun. I couldn't, I couldn't ask for a better, you know, group of roommates, honestly. But, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, I miss everybody. And I just want to say happy new year to everyone with the weight of everything I just said, you know, we should really, really mean it. And we should really all try to have a better new year. You know, I love you. Thanks for watching.